Hi children, welcome back to the lesson Physical and Chemical Changes. Here, physical and chemical changes are very common changes that take place around our, our surrounding. Right? So here, in this chapter, we already started about discussing physical changes. And let us see some more examples of physical changes that takes place around us. That is, boiling of water and condensation of the steam. Second example, boiling of water and condensation of the steam. Here, boiling of water. What is meant by boiling? Boiling means making a liquid into gas. Here, the water, it becomes gas by boiling. Actually, water, it is in liquid form. Water, it is in liquid form. So, this liquid water converted into vapor means gaseous form. It converted into vapor, gaseous form. So, vapor available in the gaseous form. Now, the water, it is in liquid form and vapor, it is in gaseous form. Here, what happened? The liquid substance, it become gaseous substance. So, this is what we call a change. But here, again, if you keep any pan, if you keep any pan or any obstruction on the vapor, then what happens? These vapor, they stuck to the pan or any object that you covered and immediately it become cooled down. The vapor become cooled down and when vapor become cooled down, it becomes water back again. So it is temporary change. Temporarily, the liquid water become gaseous vapor and as a result, when it cool it, when it cool down, the vapor become water again. So it is reversible, temporary change, and there is change in state. There is change in state. What is the change? The liquid become gaseous form, and gaseous become liquid form. So by this, we can say that here actually steam is very hot, water vapor. So we can also say that conversion of water into water vapor is physical change in other words evaporation of water evaporation of water is a physical change and as well the conversion of water vapor into liquid is also physical change otherwise we can say that condensation of water vapor is a physical change here condensation of the water vapor is also called physical change Conversion of water into vapor, it is called evaporation. We know that. It is called evaporation. Now, conversion of vapor into water, it is called condensation. Already we studied in water cycle. So, condensation and evaporation both are physical changes and they are reversible. We can reverse them. Next, let us see the another example that is in case of chopstick. So, here uh, we wrote many things on the board so while i am writing uh, for example this is a full chop piece now while i am going on writing when i go on writing what happens the piece of chop size slowly decreases and it become very small why do it become very small because when i write here in the form of powder the total chop piece it becomes powdery form right the, total charges I can collect the powder of the charges at the bottom of the board so here the chalk piece it become powdered form actually here physically both are same whatever the function the chalk piece do the chalk piece powder also do the same thing and they have same properties same color same thing but here size matters here size decrease before this what happened the state of the water changed we know that what is physical change there should be change in size, shape, state, color. But no new, new substance is formed. Whereas, here the size of the material changed. But no more new substance is formed. Right? So, here size change. Chalkbis is the long solid one. And whereas, powder is the small particle of the solid. Right? So, here state is same. Color is same. But size is changed. Right? So, that it is a physical change. And we can get the chalk piece back again. How do we can get? Simply take this chalk dust and add a little water to it. 
we have to add water to it, a little water. Then what happens here? We are going to get the paste of the chalk dust. Then this thick paste of chalk dust can be molded into the chalk piece stick and then dried it. Then what happens in this way? We can get the chalk piece back, the original chalk from the chalk dust. So here conversion of chalk piece into chalk dust and chalk dust into chalk piece both are physical changes. Here the size of the material change but remaining all are same. Right? So this is that's why it is called as physical change. We call it as physical change. Okay. Let us see another example. Another example that is uh, we'll take making a solution. Very interesting one. Making a solution. Here what is meant by solution? Solution is a substance where there is presence of a solvent which is a maximum water, a solvent called water and it should contain a solute. It should contain a solute like the sugar or salt. Sugar or salt. Okay. So here solvent is the water and solute is sugar or salt. Now if you add sugar or salt, this solute, sugar or salt to the water, then what happens? It dissolves in the water. Right? Now look at this, the solid, the solid sugar it becomes liquid in the solution. Then the change has taken place. Means the solid one become means insoluble insoluble sugar crystals become soluble here. Right? Now if you heat the sugar solution, guess what happens if you heat the sugar solution? When you heat the sugar solution, then the water evaporates. Water evaporates and as a result, the sugar crystals will remain at the bottom of the vessel. Whatever the water molecules are, they, they evaporate. Actually, here what happened here? Uh, when you add sugar to the water, it becomes sugar water, but there is no change in the character of the water and as well as sugar solution. Why? Because it is reversible reaction. We know that physical change is always reversible. Before this it is water. After adding sugar it becomes sugar water. If you remove the water and sugar, we can separate the water and sugar so that it will be reversible. Sugar water become again sugar and water. Sugar water become again sugar and water. So this process can be reversible. We can make it reverse so that it is a physical change. So remember preparation of solution is a physical change. Now let us see another example breaking of glass tumbler. Right? Breaking, breaking of glass here. Breaking of glass. What happens when we break a glass tumbler? It becomes many pieces. Actually, each broken pieces of the glass tumbler is still glass. Why? Because they may be they may be changed in the size. They may be changed in the size, but all are glass pieces. The property of the glass and as well as glass pieces both are same. Both are same. Here only the size and shape of the glass is changed, but no new substance is formed here. Right? So that the breaking of glass, even the cutting of paper. If you cut the paper into two parts, then they become two papers. Here the size and shape is changed, but no other properties are changed and no new substance is formed. So the break, uh, sorry, uh, cutting paper and breaking glass, these two are called as physical changes. These are called physical changes. Right? And next, let us see one more example that is heating of Haksa blade. Do you know Haksa blade? We use Aksa blade for cutting metal object where it has teeth. Where it has teeth at one side. So by holding one end we can cut the pipes or otherwise any metal material. And here this uh, take one Aksa blade and with the help of holder you may hold it one side and then the second end should be under the flame. Keep it under the flame. What happens if you keep for uh, half an hour or uh, 
30, 40 minutes what happens then automatically the place where you are heating it become red hot the area of the axa blade become it is a axa blade axa blade and then it become red hot color it become red hot color so here color changed the color of the object changed the shape size state it did it do not change but here the color of the object changed into red hot generally it is gray in color generally it is gray in color and now this gray color is changed into red color only wherever we are burning right so now it become red hot now put out the fire and dip this axa blade into the water or otherwise cool it down means whenever you heat it then what happens the color become red and whenever you cool it down then what happens the axa blade color become gray color so gray to red color red to gray color here only the color of the object changed and no new substance is formed here right upon heating the axa blade turned into red hot color and this turning of color is physical change why because again it become normal color right so these are the examples of physical changes in next class we will discuss about chemical changes and remember in all these examples there is no new substances formed but in chemical changes there is a formation of new substance so let us see new sub uh, chemical changes in next session thank you